welcome back to my channel. I'm Gio. <laughs> I'm Leg Day. And today we are going to be telling you our top three plays from this past weekend of Contenders Trials EU. Let's go. Okay, so let's open in Overwatch tradition with the tanks. And British Hurricane were absent for quite a while after having crashed out of Season 2 of Overwatch Contenders and falling into the trials that we now see. But fears of their absence were greatly exaggerated. They came back onto the scene against Oshtek Warriors and had a pretty dominant 4-0 victory in their first match. Against a classic 3-3 composition, Fusions leapt into action to scupper the Oshtek engage. Bocket cracking open the hard shell with a biotic grenade and applying the nano boost to Fusions. Having witnessed Sir Machid burn his fade in the Oshtek engage, the Gorilla saw red and took advantage of a close quarters control point to deliver a series of 60 damage backhands to the unsuspecting enemy. The key here was identifying the use of the fade from Sir Machid to ensure that he could effectively be isolated and eliminated to remove the ability of Oshtek warriors to survive Fusions. Onslaught. Thereafter, it was all clean up for the scientist. So this week in Trials, we saw a lot of impressive DPS play. Many teams picking the classic Doomfist Sombra that we see a lot of at the moment. Some even going for a more well-protected McCree. However, one person who really stood out was Zapre, who came out with the Doomfist and managed to accumulate himself a team kill over the course of about 20 seconds. Copenhagen Flames looks set to claim the point, some evasive stalling from Milky Man in Primal Rage being the trigger for overtime. Zapro, returning to the fray, is informed that Moira has no fade and uses Meteor Strike to engage upon the mass of foes and claim Moira's life, denying the main source of healing as well as maxing out his overshield to 150 HP. This prompts an engagement follow-up from Mete, with the puppies being warded away thereafter by Lilbo's sound barrier. A wayward knockback from Mete then slings Lilbo into the sights of Zapre, another knock on his belt. Just a few seconds and helpful healing shots from Saab later, the life of Brigitte is spread like jam across the point. With all healing disposed of, Zapre was free to wreak havoc on the tank line with a nano boost from his trusty Anna to seal the deal. Let's move on to support play. Copenhagen Flames came back into trials having picked up a lot of members of uh, the contenders winning Eagle Gaming roster. And we saw this week that one of the main assets for Copenhagen Flames are going to have moving forward is their dynamic support duo Bowed and Lilbo. They showed us that you don't need a Transcendence to go up against a Nanoblade. Milky Man takes a scouting leap to confirm the suspected support positioning to Cranks, as well as confirm the juicy opportunity that Hardis hadn't rehacked the Mega Health Pack, allowing far less sustain between the supports. Saab applies an arrow to Cranks and draws for Blade, but he still has some distance to cover, so he's forced to engage with his Swift Strike. This is all the time Bowd needs to pop around the doorway and apply a Nano Boost to his own Zinyata, giving the Mighty Monk a 50% damage reduction, as well as refilling that health bar. One slash lands and Bowd piles on the Bardic Grenade, hits for pair and it removes any chance of Cranks breaking through the massive effective HPS Lilbo was receiving as well as denying healing coming through to him. This leaves the ninja to scamper. No kills gained for the ambitious Genji and a shot to the back is his prize. So those were our top three plays from this last weekend of Trials. However, we've got more coming up this coming weekend. So who are you most looking forward to seeing? Well, for me, it's got to be all about Kib from British Hurricane. They've come in, they're very strong. They got that 4 row in our first day. And of course, we have seen Kib play in the Overwatch World Cup very successfully alongside Team UK as a flex DPS. He can bring out so many different heroes with such a high skill level. I want to see some more Doomfist out of him. It was good versus Oshtek. I'd love to see what he'll bring out in their coming match this weekend. What about you? I'm personally really looking forward to seeing Trisphere because so far in Trials, you know, we've only had a couple of days, but we've seen so much really strong support play. And one of the things that we particularly commented on when Shoes Money Crew EU were playing in the Open Division playoffs was how strong Trisphere was and pretty much, I don't want to say carries that team because there's so much talent on it, but how much he enabled so many good plays coming out from that team, particularly when they were playing against TM Biscuits, who were known as Operation Spawn Camp then. One of the things we particularly pointed out was him versus versus uh, Mini Conga and their sort of value as a flex support. And uh, Trispeel really stood out to us as someone to watch. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, his Anna play this weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video of our top three plays of this past week of Contenders Trials EU. Don't forget to come back next week to see what our top three plays are for this coming weekend. And don't forget to tune in and watch Contenders Trials live at twitch.tv forward slash broadcast GG at 4 p.m. CEST on Friday and 2 p.m. CEST on Saturday and Sunday. We'll catch you next week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Geo. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs>